Hello, my name is Whiteout. So in a previous video, I showed you how to chlorinate rubber gear. And this is really convenient when it comes to getting in and out of the gear. You don't need to use loop or talcum powder. It's really nice and very convenient to chlorinate your rubber. But there is one major drawback, and that is the integrity of the rubber is weakened by the chlorination process. So it's more likely to rip. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to specifically repair chlorinated rubber. Now, I've made a previous video about repairing rubber. I'm gonna be using a lot of the tips and tricks from that. So if you haven't already, please check out my previous rubber repair video before watching this one. And with that, let's get to repairing a chlorinated ketsu. All right, so like previous repairs, you're gonna be using pretty much the same stuff. We got some latex glue some kind of solvent, I'm using paint thinner, something to measure your rubber with, a triangle, paintbrush, rotary cutter, something to mark your rubber with, got myself a sharpie, pair of scissors, some packing tape, a card to smear around the glue a little, paper towel, and then this is gonna be a little different. So you're also going to need 120 grit sandpaper. Now this is necessary because the patch won't stick to the chlorinated rubber without you roughing it up a little bit first. So this is what we're gonna be using to rough up the area where we're gonna glue the patch down. And also, obviously, some spare latex. All right, so here's what we're gonna be repairing. We've got this nasty rip here by the cod piece. So we're gonna have to do a patch both on the front and the back in order to get this thing all fixed up. So let's get started. I first use the paint thinner to clean off any lube and dirt around the area where the patch will be glued. Now it's time for the sandpaper. This is used to score the rubber and provide a textured surface for the glue to stick to when applying the patch. Make sure not to sand too deeply, or the rubber can be weakened, which would lead to further ripping. The rubber should feel noticeably rougher to the touch when compared to the areas which haven't been sanded. It may even make a slightly different sound when rubbing your fingers across it. Have a listen. You should be able to hear a difference. After sanding, a paper towel, lightly dampened with water, is used to clean off the rubber. The suit is then turned right side in, where the front is also lightly sanded. Now it's time to measure a patch for the inside of the suit. It's always good to include an extra inch of rubber around the rip to prevent it from expanding any further. The newly cut patch is then rounded off and shaped for a bit of aesthetics. Packaging tape is then used to temporarily align the two sides of the rip before the patch is applied. Further measuring and cutting is then done to help the patch not look so obvious. The patch is then cleaned using paint thinner. After 5-10 to 10 minutes, when the patch is dry, packaging tape is then added to the front of the patch. This prevents the patch from curling up on itself when glue is applied on the back. Glue is also applied on the suit where the sandpapering was done earlier. The glue is given 3 to 4 minutes to slightly dry before the tape is removed from the patch and the patch is carefully pressed onto the suit. Extra glue is then applied to the edges of the patch before everything is tightly squished together with a rolling pin. Great! We now have patched the inside of the suit. With the suit right side in, the patch for the front is also measured and cut. All the steps that were performed on the inside patch are repeated with the outside one. Well with that, 
we have our chlorinated suit with the nice little patch on the front and the inside. So hopefully this is able to help you out if you have chlorinated gear that's ripping and in need of repair. Again, this isn't too different than repairing regular rubber gear. The main difference is you gotta sandpaper all the areas where you're going to be applying the patch and that have been chlorinated. So with that, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll try to get to them as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, have a good day, everyone.